This presidential nominee, Tim Walz, spoke to voters at a popular music venue downtown. Fox County's Alexa Erbach was there and has more. Standing room only here in the Orange Field in downtown Asheville Wednesday evening as Governor Tim Walls asked voters to get out the vote early. It was his third stop in the Tar Heel State, visiting Charlotte and Greensboro earlier in the day. As recovery efforts continue in Asheville, Mayor Esther Manheimer taking time to take the stage ahead of Election Day, addressing Governor Tim Walls's background. Fought for the needs of rural America and all of us. As governor of Minnesota, Tim Walls has continued to deliver for folks like us. The mayor showing her support for the Democratic vice presidential nominee. I want to make a pitch to some of those folks across the country that are watching tonight. If you have never visited this American treasure of Asheville, book your tickets now and come down. Get down. Here. But before he spoke to the crowd, the governor was introduced by the owner of Salvage Station. The previous venue Walls spoke at in September during a campaign rally, destroyed by Helene. Our city in Western North Carolina may not look the same, but the open hearts of our people are as generous as never before. Walls taking time to address the devastation. Our pledge to you is Kamala and I are not going to rest until you get all the support to rebuild this community. <laughs> I want to speak to those folks around here, the help for the small businesses here and across this country to get what you need to get up and running and make sure your business thrives. Other important talking points included setting a federal ban in price gouging, implementing a new child tax credit, protecting the Affordable Care Act, and reinstating reproductive rights. But I want to spend just a minute here before we go to, uh, to talk to the men in this room. Picture those, those women you love in your life. And when you think about this election, the way they're seeing it and the way we need to see it is their lives are at stake in this election. Their lives are at stake. And that's not hyperbole. It's happening all across the country. A key issue for voters as well. So I'm really here as a woman who wants to stand up for other women on behalf of other women to fight for our rights and our ability to contribute to this country because we've got a lot to contribute to this country. Around 40% of all registered voters in North Carolina have already cast their ballot. Early voting ends Saturday. Reporting in Asheville, Alexa Urbach, Fox Carolina News.